All right. Uh, so first things first, uh, go ahead and just introduce yourself to chat. Introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, chat. Um, yeah, okay. So my name is Rehan Saeed. I am... Uh, what am I? You're um, the August remote <laughs> invitational champion. Yeah, so I won the Summer Invitational, um, the big Konami sort of highlight event that they stream sort of every season um, for the past, I guess, bit while in quarantine. So I won that. Um, so I think that was what sort of gave me clout, I would like to say, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, Yo, be more confident, man. You got clout. It is what it is. <laughs> and yeah, um, other than that, uh, I'm another duelist from Canada. I'm in Toronto. So like, you know, you might, you might know Toronto being sort of home to like people like Jesse, Cotton, and Ryan Yu, and things with people like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know what else like to introduce myself as. I think like this is literally the only notable thing. No, that's pretty good. I, I wanted to ask you, just before we get into anything though, uh, how many invitationals have you been to? So good question. Um, that was my second invitational. Oh, fifty um, percent. Yeah, so we're <laughs> one for two we're one for two. Yeah. Um the first invitational that Konami hosted, so like before like that's a big reveal, right? Like the invitation was like their big sort of um makeshift YCS top cut stream that they usually do. So like that's their uh, um the invitation was just like their substitute. So they revealed it like the first very first one was February twenty twenty one. Um okay. and so I was actually a part of that as well. Um oh. and uh over the coming week, so the weekend of October thirtieth and thirty first, I'll be taking part in my third invitational. Oh, okay. Yo, I didn't know you were going to the third one. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, thank I'll you. I'll congratulate you when you win you again. Okay, so you won with Zoo Tri Brigade. Yeah, I did. Um, I... And people were asking in chat, what are you playing now? What am I playing now? Uh, good question. I'm actually not playing anything at all right now. Um, well, I actually have an at Ignister deck sleeved up. Um, at For my tonight? Desk. That that is like if I were to be that locals, this is what I would be playing right now, just because like this is literally all I got from the tins. Because like when the mega tins were like coming out, uh, I split like a bunch of cases with my friends, but I sold all my other decks. Um, oh, so, like, I sold Tri Brigade. I never had Drytron, um, so I just don't have decks right now. And so I have Ignister. The other thing would be that the format is extremely stale, so I don't really enjoy playing right now either. Plus, I'm very busy with work. Okay. So it's like it just sort of uh, amalgamated into like just me not playing at the moment. But if I were to be playing, I think I'd just be playing Tribrigate again. Okay, yeah. So that that was gonna that was about to, that was gonna be my next question. Um do you think Tribrigate is gonna be like the better of the decks this format? Even post bode okay, okay. as well. Okay, so it's hard to say post bode. Um, but if for, for okay, for example, if I were to look at decks for the invitational, right? So for example, this is what I'm actively doing is I'm actively sort of deciding out what I want to play for the invitational. Okay. Um so half of it because like I find every deck in the in the meta boring at the moment. Um so like okay, so my personal thing is that I can't play if I'm not having fun. Right? Um Yo, okay, that's well, listen, listen, I don't mean to cut you off, but that's actually low-key good advice. A lot of people don't understand that if you're just not enjoying it, it's actually not good to force yourself to play. Exactly. Because like winning is important and everything, but like, man, if you're going to these big events, so like the invitational isn't that like mo like it doesn't have that many rounds, right? Like you're playing four rounds of Swiss, but then and then you're playing like uh two rounds top cut. Yep. But like to qualify for the invitational, you have to qualify with a remote dual invitational qualifier, right? And that is usually six rounds of Swiss with three rounds of top, of top cut. Yep. Right. And then to qualify for the RDIQ, right, you have to qualify, like get your invite via the extravaganza regional events. Right. So to go all the way to the invitational, you have to play a lot of Yu Gi Oh! And if you're not having fun, it's very difficult, I think, to do well. Right. Because like every single loss just like hurts a lot more rather than, you know, if you're having fun, like the loss doesn't actually hurt that much. So funnily, funny enough, the last, um, the recent RDIQ that I played, I actually won. I got first place. Congrats. Because only top, only top two were getting um, invitations from the RDIQ to the Invitational. Okay. So I got first place, and I actually entered that tournament not on a serious note because I was like, it's only top two. It's gonna be really difficult to actually like, get into the top two. Um, so I just entered for fun. I was helping my friend test his list for the RDIQ. And so when I'm helping my friends test, I try to like play the deck as well to see if like there's any issues that I find while testing. Mm -hmm. uh, and while testing, I sort of started having fun with the deck. 
And I'm like, hey, this deck is actually kind of fun. Chaos Ruler Mill 5 is actually really fun. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound fun, but okay. It's a lot of fun. It's just like, I don't know what I'm going to mill. My opponent doesn't know what I'm going to mill. And so, like, we just both find out when I mill 5 and, like, I mill safer Chaos Base Levy. Yeah, okay. So that's a lot of fun. And that's actually what I did at the RDIQ because I actually don't know any of the, like, many of the dragon combos, like, mm-hmm. of, like, the very um, niche lines. Like, I just know, like, the, you know, the two dragons turn into, like, Striker and then Romulus and you make safer and you go click Chaos Ruler. So, like, a lot of the, like, the boards that I did at the RDIQ ended off on, like, one or zero negates, right? And wow. I was like, I just wanted to, like, mill with Chaos Ruler. And that's literally what I did. <laughs> 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 that's kind of funny and you still ended up winning chat listen if you guys do have any questions for rayhan put them in chat um i'll be sure to ask him while we're dueling but rayhan do you want to start with the duel uh so i have like a partly completed at ignister deck i'm gonna be needing to like proxy some cards proxy bro who cares we're, the duel's just for fun the duel's just more for us to just like chill hang out and play and then chat can ask you any questions about how to compete at a high level how it is playing at those events Anything you guys want to ask, you guys can ask. That's that's what we're doing today. How good do you think Sword Soul is gonna be though? Um, because I I've, I've been testing it recently, and I thought it is. I think it's so fun. I think it has a place in the meta. Yeah. But I it's it's gonna be like Tri Brigade, right? Where it's gonna have like a lot of representation. Um, but at the same time, like it's like like how you basically view decks that reach top cut is sometimes like you know. You'll look at a top cut event, like say you know top sixteen, yep. and uh, four out of those sixteen decks are char So you're gonna be like, oh my god, char the best deck. Yep. Well, not exactly, because like if you look at the overall representation from round one, sometimes that representation is overinflated. So like if you have a lot of people playing char then it makes sense that a lot of people, yeah, like, right. So, and then sometimes like you know you look at Dragon Lake, you know Dragon Lake only had you know four people playing it round one, and like two of them got in top cut. So that's a 50% conversion rate, whereas yeah. you know, Tribal Game was like four people on top cut, but like 30 people playing in round one. So Yeah, yeah. So it's not actually as good. It's just exactly. there's so many. Yeah, it's not really a question from chat, but how do you feel about Flunderies, actually? Someone said Flunderies is going to be a really good deck. What do you think? It's neat. Um, I've only played against it like once or twice. I have a game up um, not to like shout someone else's channel. No, no, go ahead. Grim YGO like sort of invited me to play a game with another duelist. Yeah. Um, the other guy played in the Invitational, and so we just played like a showcase game for like both format. So I played uh evil like pure evil twins, and he played like Flunderies, and so that was the first time I actually saw the deck. It's neat. Um, that new spell that they're getting in uh, this what's it called Battle of Chaos is really nice for the yeah. deck. Just because like the deck currently loses to a lot of uh, impermanent Valor. And it's very, very normal in my mind. But it's going to be like one of those decks, like, I think it's like tier two. It's like, be there at regionals, take regionals down. Um, I'm probably like, you know, get into like a YCS top pick if we get those back. But it's kind of just Hopefully. like annoying like decks at the background. This last thing, just before we get into the duel. I was going to ask you, how do you feel about Prank Kids? Because Meow Meow went to one, but I've been seeing some builds play Corridor. Because they dump Thunder Dragon Fusion, um, I don't know, through their combo to search the Corridor. What do you think? I have not played against Prank Kids since the ban list, so I have no idea. I'm just very glad that deck is gone. I don't know. That was pretty spicy to me. I hated that deck. All right. Uh, how do you want to do this? You want to high roll? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I will roll. I got an 11. Home field advantage. I got an 8. Yeah, okay. Uh, how do you want me to cut it? <laughs> I, said, I said home field, home field advantage. Half? half? Yes. Okay, you can do half as well. All right, you can tell me how what what your proxy cards are. So I'm missing one of the yellow Ignisters, the Pikachu. Um, what else? Pikachu, and I'm missing, nice. And I'm missing um that Cyber's Wicked, the lo- the link to. I also don't know how to combo, so we're just gonna learn. All right, I guess we're learning today. All right, uh, I'll go first. Sure. Good luck, friend. Um, I'm gonna start off by. Hmm. I feel like adding this doesn't play hand trap. Huh. I'm gonna normal summon rescue cat. I will um think here. Oh you do play hand traps, interesting.
Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Rescue out effect? Yeah, you're good. Interesting. I feel like you're bluffing me. Summon kits. Yep. Summon kitas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what's funny is I don't have a cavalry. So I, I can't play Zeus. Well, I don't play Zeus in the deck. Okay. I, I, don't, I think playing that cavalry route isn't good. I, I tried it online because obviously I don't have it. It feels okay, but it never really comes up. It never really so, comes up. With cat, like try more leaning towards like a combo deck. Yeah. One of the things like, I've been looking at is the bird variant with like the Lurless cards. And uh, I wanted to try that. They're neat. They basically make it so that you have three pushes instead of like the two that you currently have. Like normal summoning Keras. Uh, because of the birds, you technically just have to, like, have three. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have extra bodies on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go kid effect here. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I'm gonna dump Nerval. Nerval? Sure. I guess I'll just add Brack. Doesn't really matter. Um, how do you want me to cut? Actually, I'm gonna go back in. Half is, all, half is almost fine. Okay. I'll cut just in case. Alright. Uh, I'll go Fairy Jeet effect. Sure. Special. The Prack. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, prack effect here for two. Sure. Sure. Wow, no imprint? Fair, bro? Yep. You think I'm gonna imprim you on your own stream? I wanna do that. Yo! You're the pro player here. You're supposed to be beating me. Bro, I'm learning how to play at Ignister. <laughs> guys, this guy decided, <laughs> decided to take it easy, huh? Uh, some of Apollo. You're good. Uh, I will go. Uh, chain link one. Fairjit, no, sorry, chain link one, Brum two, Fairjit. You're good. Doro. I'll put this back. Yeah, I'll put this back. Then. Uh, revolt. No shiny revolt. No, I haven't gotten any of the things yet, actually. I haven't gotten any of the Megaton stuff. I got all my Charbuggy stuff from the Megatons, but I'm missing kits, and now kits are expensive. <laughs> Oh yeah, kids went up to like five bucks a pop, huh? Yep. Kind of sad. I actually moved one of mine a while ago for like two bucks. Now I'm sad. Um, I will set to one. Mm -hmm. And pass it off to you. I'll put it here. Sure. How many cards in hand? Three cards in hand. Yeah. I'll put no traps. So it was kind of sad. Uh, my face. My face. Yeah, maybe it's good. Uh, Imperm the Appaloosa. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. No, you think, the... you think I'm gonna Imperm you on your own stream? <laughs> uh, huh. Yo, Brian, thank you for the bits, bro. Since when have I started streaming? I started streaming a while ago. I try to stream as much as possibly. As much as I possibly can. Go ahead, bro. Thinking here. Um... I don't know how to play this deck. Uh, <laughs> go there. Okay. We'll start off with normal some Picari, Picari effect. Uh, sure, yeah. I can't remember which one does which. What do they all do? I know they all... This, this one switches the spells and traps. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and search... Idol Reborn, which is like the Monster Reborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to go. Like you res? It's nothing. Uh, I'm going to Dark Infant, Dark Infant effect. Uh, how does the Dark One effect work? Uh, if this card is Link Summon, you can add one Ignis or Island from your deck to your hand. When a Cyber Monster is with 2300 original attack, activates its effect. You can move this card to your main monsters and this card points to. Okay. And then change its attribute. And then the field spell does what again? You, the search is fine. You, I don't have anything to stop the search. But uh, the field spell basically, um, if I control no monsters in the main monster zone, 
I can special summon one level 4 or lower Agnistra monster from my hand, but for the rest of your turn you cannot special summon monsters with the same original attribute by the effect of Island as that special summon monster. So if I special summon like a light, I can't special summon like a light using this effect again. Oh, okay, that's good. Alright, anything on res? Nothing on res. Uh, activate Island. Or... I think I have to just stop the Island. Yeah, let's move this back. There we go. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, on the field spell, I'm going to revolt. Uh, that's fine. I feel like that's the thing to stop. Um, I'll summon back Nerve, Kit, and Fergit. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, uh, chain link one, Nerve, two, Kit, three... Actually, I'm not even going to kit. Just chain like one nerve to Omen. That's fine. Uh, Omen banishing the field spell, and then... Nerve, nerve I'll search a lot. Yeah. I'll search a Keras. Sure. If I can find it. Bro, I need to get new sleeves. I haven't even put new sleeves on, because, like, I haven't been to locals, and I was like, there's no point. I've uh, tried the new PC whites, and I'm, I'm addicted to them now. Really? I, I thought I heard they were bad. Compared to like the no, the old ones, really nice. I I got um broccoli double to like double sleeve my cards and stuff like that, but yeah, like, these pieces of are so nice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to try it. Yeah, no, nothing on it is good. Uh, Activate island. You have another one? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Yeah, that's fine. Uh, special summon. A chi chi, a chi chi effect to search. Uh, it's a rota. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, that's fine. New PCs had issues, but they fixed them. Oh, I didn't know they fixed them. I knew they had issues. I heard they had like they felt weird or they broke down easily. These felt these feel really nice. Like I've used the same batch for the RDIQ, which is like nine rounds, and then I played in one of Cardo Magica's case tournaments. And they still feel okay. They're still like these are literally the exact same ones. Oh, nice. Um, huh, what to do here now? Okay, so I think I link these off. So you have four cards in hand. That's that. Cyber's Wicked. You know, I need to know what Cyber's Wicked does, actually. Alright, go ahead. So how does Wicked work? Okay, if a monster is special summoned to a zone, this card points to, while you control this monster, um, you can banish one cyber monster from your graveyard. Add one cyber tuner from your deck to your hand. Last use of this. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, and activate Ignister Island special summon. Yeah. So you can keep special summoning, but you can't use the same attributes. Yes. So you summon I'm gonna... fire on the first one. I normal summon the fire, and then I special summon the light. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to see Ignister Island, and then Chain Idol Reborn. Idol Reborn will special summon out, I guess, the light, or no, no, the fire. Which one? Yeah, start with light, okay. You started with light, and then you summon fire later. So yeah. Yeah, and we'll summon Doyon. And then if this card is normal special summon, you can target one at Ignister Monster, add it here. Sure. So, uh, I'll probably back to my hand. Oh, uh, so now you can special the light one, huh? This card is sent for graveyard as material. Okay. So I'll link these two away. Yep. To get, update chat. Do you have OTK here? I have OTK here. Did you go access code attack twice, no? Yeah, 5300 access code attack twice. Alright, game two, game two, game two. <laughs> Bro, the input on the Apollo was so good. Yeah, I was debating on using it on the cap, but like if you had any other extenders, then... I I had extenders. I had a I had a I had a assault in hand. Yeah. And I had. I, um... I Yo, you gave me the idea to play assault, by the way, and I love playing it. I'm actually, it's so good. Oh, did you hear my story about the remote YCS? Uh, no, what happened? I forgot to put Tanky on my list when playing uh, Trevor game. So you didn't play Tanky. So, I just didn't play Tanky. Played uh my entire deck with no tankies. I just never realized. So actually, I'll touch upon one thing. Yeah, go ahead. Think, um, 
like one of the things that I've realized, and I've like heard a lot of discussions about it, is like the overall skill level has sort of increased a lot over quarantine. And I think uh, a lot time. of that is people had time, but people also had like access, right? Like look at us, like we're in Toronto, and we get one YCS in Canada a year, yeah, and we get four regionals within like the city a year, yep. So, like, personally speaking, I've only played in two regionals, one YCS where I crashed out X4, and I played in one Nats. That's it. That's, like, that's all the, like, IRL Yu-Gi-Oh! I've played before remote. But then, like, remote duels, like, all of a sudden just gives you so much access. access? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's the one thing I do like about remote duels. I never, I've qualified for Nats a couple times. I've actually never gone to a Nats, though. The more you play, like, the more you learn, right? Like, it's one of those things, right? It's like... The more exposure you have with the game, like the more you're able to connect with people. And I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of remote deals personally is just networking. Oh well, yeah, like, yeah. A lot of players, like I'm on, you know, pretty good speaking terms with them. Like I'm pretty casual with Jesse. I know like Asala in the States, like Pac's big. And Pac was also just like someone that came out of remote duels because like he grinded like every single day. Yeah. Right? yeah. Remote, like when like the pandemic was at its peak and like things were closed, like he was literally just playing every single, every single day, every single day. Yeah, right. And like, he learned so many interactions and just like through experience, like you start like understanding like different scenarios, right? Because you can understand how a deck works, you can understand how your opponent's deck works, but then the variance and like the RNG that that is within Yu-Gi-Oh, it's very difficult to predict unless you're within those scenarios like all the time. Oh like, yeah, repeatedly. like you've seen it all pretty much. Exactly. Like okay, like for example. Like, I could have, like, easily impermed your cat, right? But, like... You know, I, you know I'm ending on Apollo. I know you're ending on Apollo, right? So, like, I can just, I can look at my hand. I'm like, okay, what does this hand lose to, right? Can this hand beat Apollo? No, it can't. Can this imperm be, you know, used to deal with Apollo? Yes, it can. So, like, there's no reason to, like, actually imperm your cat because you know what your hand loses to, right? And you know what beats the Apollo is still the imperm. Yep. So, like, at that point... Like, I don't need to use Imperm. But, like, that's because I've been in that scenario so many times already. Yep. Yep. Good advice. All right. Uh, I'm just cutting half. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go first again. Sure. I'm, you know what I was more shook about was I didn't think Ad Ignister played hand traps at all. I thought he was just, like, pure combo deck. I think Ad Ignister plays 15. Ad Ignister plays 15 hand traps? Yeah. That's kind of like, wild. Your engine is, like, all one card starter. Like, it's literally prank hit. Like you just need one ag- like to see one at Ignister, and like the other cards can just be like hand traps. I felt a lot better before you told me that. Okay. Um let's see, what do we do here? Alright, I'm starting off with this again, I guess. Uh normal summon rescue cat. That's fine. Effect. True. Alright. Even if you have the imperm, I still make the play because I feel like that's still the best play. I mean it's still it, it you would you would agree that this is still a better play than um making like a double dragon lords right yes so like one of the things that i've learned and uh, like from someone like that's much much better than me at the game is that a lot of the time players lose to things because they're playing on playing around other things yeah right so you can only play around like so much and like once you start playing around like unknowns and like specific cards you leave yourself open to like other cards like if your opponent has the answer they have the answer yeah right? like what are you gonna do about it Exactly. Like, if one has talents, like, if, you know, if I asked your Gamma right now, and you had, like, if I asked your kid, the cat right now, you had Gamma. You had Gamma, but, like, I opened myself, like, up to that. Yeah. So, sometimes you can play on things, but, like, you also have, like, assess your own hand, like, assess, like, the situation to see, like, you know, when's the best time to use certain cards. Well, so I feel like, again, that's probably when the experience comes in, huh? Definitely. Definitely. All right, uh, Kit. Kit is fine. You know the spiel, send Nerval, Nerval, search Fractal. Mm-hmm. Activate Fairjet effect. That's fine. Uh, I'll summon the Frack. Uh, frack effect. Sure. I'll vanish to. Man, sometimes I wish this deck had a better link three than uh than Rugal. Uh, on summon, I'm gonna activate Phantasmic. Thinking on summon. That's fine. One, two, three. Yeah, you put two back. Three. 
Yeah, yeah it's three three. So put that one. Two. Wait. Yes. I think. Oops. Good? Yep, you're good. Uh, link. Thing is, thinking actually here. Thing is, Phantasmi just outs a follow up. Phantasmi's 2400 attack, right? That is correct. Yeah, thinking here actually. Hmm. I feel like Apollo is actually not the right thing to do here. Interesting. Because I mean, you just go battle phase, right? You have the revolt. I have the revolt, but then you're forcing on my revolt, right? Like, what? I'm just gonna revolt just for the phantasma, and then you just you're playing adding this, so you just one card combo me and you win. Well, you still have your negates. That's if I that's if I do any. Well, I mean, you have your apple negate. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I guess I have to. Uh, bear one, bear jet two. Bear one, that is fine. Uh, bear jet, so it's fine? Yeah, it's fine. The raw. Um. I don't know what to put back actually. Put this back and then bear brum. And I will put back. Set four. Oh god. Yeah. Go ahead. Draw. No card to hand. Interesting. I think I would rather prefer that. Uh stand by phase, mid phase. Stand by main stand by main is fine. Uh two button battle phase. <clears throat> See this is what I this is what Entering battle phase is fine. Sure, anything is start battle phase? Uh uh. Do you have the bell? Do you have the bell? If you have the bell, you have it. Like... Again, you still have the apple for the bell. So the bell doesn't matter. How many cards in hand right now? Five? Five. Yeah, no, it's I know I have the I know I have the apple for bell, and I know I have the apple technically, but it's like I'm I killing the gates. Yeah, you have six cards? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so in start a battle phase, I'll go revolt. That is fine. I'm gonna keep cat banished, but I'm gonna summon in one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Omen. And then I'll go chain link one Nerval. No, uh, I'll chain link one Fair Jet, two Nerval, three Omen. Uh, sorry. So yeah, so Nerval search. We'll search kit. I'll just cut it in half real quick. Draw. Hmm. Put this back. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. What can we not play? How do we play that? I'll be honest, I opened kind of cracked. Kind of cracked? Yeah, like kind of cracked out. Like, I'm um, kind of going. And you have IO in the background, don't you? I see. <laughs> How come cracked means IO in the background? It just does. Um, oh, Vanden, shout out for the friggin' gifted sub, bro. Yada, you're a sub now. Congratulations. 
Thank you, Bandit. Go ahead. Oh, lightning storm background. Of course, of course you're gonna have it. Yeah, I Yeah. <laughs> That's why I set my hand, because I was like, you know what, I have the IO. I, I can't do that. Yeah, I had uh, called and strike too. Yeah. That's why I told you, like, I opened kind of cracked. Alright, so it's 1 1. Wow. Chat, I'm basically a pro. I think Nisters love that deck. Yeah, he's uh learning how to play it. Yeah, I don't know how to play Agnister. He, like, can I be honest? Like, it's not that it's hard to play per se, but it's kind of like you know. I, I, I really don't know the combo route. Like, I don't know how to make the big link six. Oh, you don't know how to make the big. Oh, I mean, you know how to make access code and beat me though. I, I know that, but like that's because like I've been playing. Because you played South. Yeah. Yo, chat. Fun fact. You guys probably didn't know this. Actually, you guys for sure didn't know this. But um, before Rayhan was a famous uh, Yu-Gi-Oh player, uh, this guy was literally known as Salad King at our locals because he only played Salad, like religiously played Salad. Religiously. I used to play Salad, but my bro was getting tired of getting smoked by it, so I had to pick up a new deck. Yo, Salad for its time was really good. Salad's still really good. I, I can take this. I, I'm pretty sure I can take Salad to locals and win Salad. I mean, yo, yo, I, the Crossout is really good in Salad. I saw some mid problems. You know, uh, for the RDAQ, uh, my record for that event, I played nine rounds. I went 8 1. The one loss I had was against Salad. And you were playing Dragon League, right? Yeah. Wow, 8 1, and the loss was Salad. What would you like, good sir? Uh, I will choose to go. F uh, I'll go first. Sure. Uh, half? Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I, just, I was asking if you guys should come on. Doesn't really matter. All right, good luck, amigo. Likewise, um, I'm gonna need it. Okay, so normal spin a cheat sheet, or no, this is the Pikachu, it's the yellow one. The yellow one, yeah, the one that searches. Uh, what's it called? The um, oh. yeah, yeah, spell. That's fine. <clears throat> Add a copy of I meet you. Which one's I meet you? I meet you is not the reborn. That's I reborn. I I meet you is Rhoda. So oh, I, I, reveal, Rota. I, I reveal one from my extra deck, and then I add an Ignister with the same attribute. Yeah, these names kill me, bro. Yeah, people call these call this like AI meet you. I was like, no, it's an actual no, it's pun. it's a pun. Yeah, I know they're all puns, right? They're also good. Like there's I, one called My Shadow. It's, it's it's so good. Okay, is that the one with it? No, that's I Reborn. It's the one with the hand coming out of the thing, right? Um, go into Dark Infant. Dark Infant effect. Shh. Sure. Um, I'm thinking here. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know how the deck works, so I don't know how to when to make the plays. Sure, island is fine. Okay, let's activate That's fine. Um, I'll activate I meet you. The search, that's revealing, revealing Fire Phoenix. Yeah. So, during you... the end phase, if I did not special summon the real monster, so if I, if I don't special summon this, then I take 23 on him. You take 23? Okay. Yeah. And we'll add. Chi Chi. I just picked out my playset of Cross Out. Nice. I haven't even picked it up yet, to be honest with you. Yo, they're going down in price, though. Yeah, they were never going to be that high. They're not... It's not... It's because, you know why? It's because of the waves. It's because the Megaton didn't come out all at once, right? Of course. There's not. And, like, there's also the fact that it's not that good. You guys heard it here first. Pro player. cross is not that good. It's it's very format-dependent. And, like, when the format's super widespread like this, like, I don't think it's good. Like, for example, like, if the format was, like, all Charbigid Mirror... Then like you're playing cross up like it's insane. Yeah, yeah, it's auto win. Right, you're like you're playing against like prank kids, like you just hit pandemonium, like GG. But when like the format's like all over the place, it's it's kind of difficult. Um, I'll use Highland here. Sure. Special a GG, a GG effect to add. Sure. I don't know if what I'm letting you do is the right play. Like I don't know, if... because I don't know this deck. I don't know if what I'm doing is correct either. Um, that, that's that. 
Let me see, read something. Yeah, I'm going to show chat what I have in my hand. I just, I don't know what to use it. Um, you read something. Let's see. So a Chi Chi will add, I guess. There's a card here that mills. Which one mills? I have no idea, bro. Don't ask me. This one. Is it the wind one? That's what I'm trying to see. This kills me, bro. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is the wind one. Okay, so we'll add Heyari. Oh, it is the wind one. Nice. I'm actually. I'm actually nice like that. So we'll link these two into Cyber's Wicked. Sure. Yo, is there any? Is there ever a point where you make more than one Link monster on the field at a time? Uh, I don't know. I think so. It should be. Okay. I'm not sure. Yes, yes. Um, when you go into like the the link three and then you also summon dark infant to move it over. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, so use dark infant. Oh no, uh, ignition your island effect. Yeah. To summon Dolyon. we'll go chain link one. What is this do? We'll go chain link one. Uh, wicked chain link two. Doyon and Doyon adds back. Sure. One uh, ignition monster from my graveyard, so we'll add back Pikachu. And yeah, this yeah, one special. Yeah, that's fine. Searches. So this one has to banish one. Banish uh, ignition. Search for tuner cybers. Are any of the adding this are tuners? This oh, okay, okay. Yo, this is like a seven dollar rare now. Is it? Yeah. Why the deck's bad? This is the only card that wasn't reprinted. Oh what what a what are the odds? Bro, I hate the Yu-Gi-Oh secondary market, man. <laughs> so stupid. What does this do now? All right, <clears throat> so these two go into. Um, wait, one monster. What's this do? Is Wicked a link two? Wicked is a link two. Okay, so you can go into a link three essentially mm -hmm. if you want to. Okay, so we're gonna go into Blash Mage. And then use Doyen effect. And sure. Doyen is a You can target one Ice Spell Trap card, add it to your hand. Okay, so we're gonna add back I Meet You. Yep. And then use uh, Island effect. Just Splash Summon Brew. Uh, Brew effect on Special Summon to send one. Sure. Sending Don Mari. And then we'll use Splash Mage effect. Yeah, what's well, Splash Mage effect? Special summon from Grave? Yes, so we'll Special Summon Doyon. And then. What do I do here? Alright, I'll summon Normal Summon. Do you have a Normal Summon? Then you normal Summon Pikachu? All right, I didn't remember that. It's, it's the special summon still. Yeah, you can still I summon the Pikachu. Yeah. Oops. I have like a combo video here open. So I'm trying to learn from. Yeah, he's cheating. <laughs> he's watching a combo video. <laughs> have you seen that Ritual Beast, Matt? Where it's like, it has like the entire combo for the Ritual Beast, like zone placement of like which banish movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I assure you, I know what I'm doing. Um, how did this guy get like the wind one on field? Okay. Into the wind Pegasus adding this. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> okay. Um. So what does this do? What? Oh, I guess. We're okay, so okay, so we link these two away. Sure. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Uh, we bro we're both gonna learn today. Oh, you're synchroing. Oh, you're linking. Synchro and then brew effect. Special summon the one that was used. So we special summon this here. Okay. We link this away into Dark Templar. 
What does this guy do next? What does Dark Temple Tower Temple do next? Okay, so Dark Templar is like when an Agnister is summoned to a zone it points to, um, you basically get to soul charge for three. Okay, thinking on summon then. Okay, sure. While I watch this combo. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. It's supposed to be for, with all three. Because it needs three different names. Okay, so it's supposed to be with... Sure, that's fine. Um... <laughs> Like I don't like bro, you know I have Phantasmi, but I don't know if you're summoning any more Link monsters. I am. I'm gonna summon the Dark Infant over here. Okay. So Link again. All right. So I'm gonna wait till you summon that. Okay. So we're gonna watch this guy summon his first. Um. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna special summon the Pikachu again. Sure. Uh, here, and then we're gonna link this off into Dark Infant. Okay. Yeah. We'll chin, chin link one. Uh, Dark Templar to revive from Grave, and then chain link to the uh, Ignister to move himself to a new zone and call Divine. Any response? I'm going to activate Phantasma here in hand. Uh, Phantasma is fine. Sure. So, it doesn't really matter. Summon him here. Uh, I dropped three, right? Uh, uh, yes. Go three, go back two. Bro, what are these draws? I just shuffle back to right? Yeah. I wanted to draw the bureau here. Imagine I drew the bureau here. Wait, so what do you call Divine for? I don't get it. What's the point of that? There's, I think there's a reason. This guy in the comma was calling it, so we're going to call it too. Okay, and then we bring back... What is this guy doing? Okay, so we bring back three. So we bring back... Yeah, you summon three back from the grave, right? Yes. One, two, three. They're all once per turn effects, so I guess it doesn't matter which ones you summon well, back, right? The, the light one, yes. Okay. And then we're going to... Yeah, because it has to be like with different attributes. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and... One... Two, three, four, five. So now you're playing, summoning the unaffected guy, right? Yes. Okay, so how is his... How does his effect work? He's unaffected. He's like 3,000 attack or 4,000 attack or something, right? Uh, so he gains 1,000 attack for uh, for the number of materials used for his link summit. So that's four. Okay, so, his, so the, the requirements are three plus monsters with different attributes. Hence why I have to make it divine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so the original attack of this card becomes 1,000 times the number of linked monsters used for its link summon, unaffected by other card effect, card's effects. And once per turn, you can target one other monster in the field, destroy it, and if you do, special spend one at Ignister token to a zone this card points to. Wait, so wait, wait. So he, he's at how many? He's 1,000? So he's at 5k. Because I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5k unaffected by card effects. Yes. How do I help that? I don't have card and then I'm going to use his effect sure. to pop a card targeting Phantasmia to pop. I can't negate it, right? You can try, but it'll just will not matter. Like, I'll, what would happen? I'll just discard for cost, huh? Is it a quick effect? Is that a quick effect pop? I wish. It'd be broken if it was. Oh, okay. So it's just a beater, pretty much. But I just don't know how to out that. I can't access code it. Oh, I guess I can. I have to access code for three. Make it 53, huh? Yeah, okay. Um, I will not Phantasm. I guess there's no point. Yeah, okay. So then I'll get a token, which is here somewhere. Just use anything. Yeah, that's fine. Token to what this card points to, and this is uh, level one zero zero. Sure. How do you want me to cut? Half, we half, did a tap. half is fine. We got through the combo. We learned. We cheated. <laughs> Desires. Oh my god, sure. Three, I hope you banish your hand traps. Five, ten. I mean, I've gone through my engine, so. I still hope you manage your hand traps. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, so we will set one. Sure. And uh, let's see. do we need to set this actually? Six cards in hand, yeah. Uh, uh, I have five. Go. How many cards in hand do you have? Five, six. Uh, you can go ahead and I'll take 2300 for, for burn damage. Sorry, draw for there and you take 23. Mm -hmm. One sec, real quick. 23. There, 57. Yep. Okay. Is that my main? Yep. Nothing set? Oh, okay, so just the big beater bug guy. Literally, that's it. Okay, I'll normal summon rescue cat. Uh, that's fine. Perfect. Sure. Yo, I've drawn it all three games, huh? Uh, I also have a negate in my grave, so... Oh, oh, which is a negate? I don't know. Okay, so, Don Mari is when I control Link 6, um, I can banish this card from a graveyard and target one face-up card on the field, like Spell, Trap, Monster, whatever, uh, negate its effects. Okay. And then, when a card on my side of the field is destroyed, I can banish Wind Pegasus and shuffle back one card you control. So if I destroy a card, you shuffle back a card and you have a negate. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. And six cards in hand. Yeah, I know. It's kind of disgusting, actually. Okay. Uh, Link to... Or Firajit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Link to Firajit. That's fine. Um, Frigid effect. That's fine. Special fry. Sure. Um, frack effect. Sure. I banish three. Sure. Summon Doom Eagle. Hmm. Doom Eagle is annoying. It is annoying, isn't it? No nib here. You have nib. Yep. You have nib. You can't even nib your own guy because he's infected. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of busted. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, I will fairy to. Will I fairy to effect? Sure, I'll fairy to effect. That's fine. Uh, I'll just put it back. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Um. Special Keras. I hope that's how it works. Otherwise, Pitch. this is embarrassing. Okay. No, that's fine. I think, it, I think that's right. Because it's unaffected by all monster effects, right? All card effects. Yeah, yeah. So it should be good. Uh, Keras pitching Nerva. Yeah, that's fine. How does it feel getting Keras, ner Keras Nerva? It's not Keras Kit, but whatever. The amount of times I opened Keras Kit in that Invitational was insane. Now we know why you won. Okay, <laughs> and Nerva effect. I'll just add another... Yeah. Uh. I already used Frack. I guess I just had kits. No, I had Frack. Yeah, I had Frack. You didn't choose Nerval effect already in this trick? No, I don't have any other Nervals in the grave. That was the first one. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, because I started off with uh, Cat for Kit, Keras. Right. Okay. And then... Well, the problem is I got rid of Doom Eagle now. You got rid you of... Also have a token on the field. Huh? You have a token on the field. Oh, I have a token? Why? Oh, for Nib, 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 Nib. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, I forgot the attack. What's the attack? It was uh, Ferrajit, Doom Eagle, and, Fer and Fractal. So it'd be 24, 16, uh, which is 4k, plus 19, 59, and then defense is 16. Sure. You want to summon an attack for me? I'm good with defense. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to summon it... Do you get to pick the placement or do I? I can't remember. I'll get to pick. What do you want? Um, wherever this card points. So, yeah. Oh, right under it? Right here? Okay. Um, is there a reason for that? I don't know. I just like it there. Oh, <laughs> I was like, does it do anything there? Okay. Um, Neil McFluffy, shout out for the follow, bro. Welcome to the Spangle Squad. Um, okay. I guess I go. We still have a negate, man. Hmm. 
and shout out to this YouTuber that showed me the combo just now. No, not shout out to that YouTuber because now he's making my life difficult. Okay, so I still can go access code, but you're just gonna yo. How does how does the thing work? So it negates the effect. So like, if I were to summon access code, so he'll gain under, the three k. Yeah, you'd gain three k, and then under resolution, I just banish it down Murray, negate access code because the effect the attacking is localized to one monster. Once the attack is negated, it just permanently goes back to twenty three hundred. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Okay, that's what I want. No. Hmm. And I can't use the token. The question is for me right now, is there, is there a way for me to make Apollo and access code? Apollo and... The problem is you got rid of Doom Eagle. Like, I don't have another Link 3. If I had another Link 3, I'd be fine. How do you not have Rugal? I do have Rugal for access code. But I need to make a way to, I need to, make a way to make, get a Apollo. I don't know if that's possible. Thinking. So if I Kara summoned Fierge, it doesn't matter. I guess I have to go Kara for three for Rugal. Hard to make access code. You're going to negate access code. And Omen doesn't do anything against this big boy, huh? Nope. Okay, well, this is a very interesting predicament. Okay, I'll go Chaos Effect for... Honestly, I'm going to get it out of your grave, to be honest. Chaos for three? Sure. Second Doom Eagle. Oh. Could you imagine if I played Second Doom Eagle? I wish now. That would have been a play. Um... I don't want I don't want that Nibiru on your side of the field to be honest. If I go that No, it's not it's not worth it. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the the Dune body card or whatever. Access code effect. Targeting uh... Rugal. Sure. Uh, on res. Sure. We'll punish Don Murray. Yep. Negate access code. Negate. Yeah, that's fine. Set two, and I will pass it over to you. Sure. Sure. We're off a turn. Yep. So standby phase. Yeah, that's gone now. I just need to get that out. Uh, cards two cards in hand. One card in hand. Two set. Oh, one. One in hand. Two set. All right. Uh, we'll use arrival effect targeting the token. Thinking on summon, or thinking on effect, I mean, sorry. Sure. Um, it has to stay on the field to resolve one. What's between two? Yes, destroy it. So it just pops and just the card, huh? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Revolt doesn't do anything. Sure. Right, and then I got a token. Yep. Um, I can't even revolt back the Doom Eagle. Sad. Actually, it wouldn't matter anyways, but... Link token, link nib. Sure. Uh, security dragon. What does security dragon do? Uh, once while face up on the field, this card is co-link. You can target one monster opponent control. Return to the hand. Oh, thank you. Okay, so sure. that's fine. You target you target this, right? Yes. So it goes to extra. Sure. Hmm. That does a lot. And then I'll activate I meet you. Uh yeah, to to search, that's fine. Yeah, revealing light. Yep. Do I have the targets? 
Oh no, don't targets. Oh, okay. Oh, you no. banished them all. We don't have the targets. I don't have the targets to search for things. Um. So reveal the fire, actually. Sure. I had a cheat sheet. Yep. Um, so if you don't summon the fire, you take another 23, right? Yes. Okay. That's my win con right now, burning you. <laughs> uh, normal summon a Chi Chi or Chi Chi a fire? Sure. Chat, this, this big boy link, link 5 or link 6 guy is actually kind of annoying. Uh, activate Hiari. When I control another uh, Agnes from Austria, it's fine. That's fine. Um... Someday I'm going to locals in the second time. For the second time ever, I'm going to bring V-Troopers. V-Troopers fun. I have no idea what the deck does. I almost got bodied by it. Yeah, the B Trooper's pretty good when they summon the big boy. What to do here? Plus the trap is pretty good in B Trooper. What do you do? I have to or else I lose. <laughs> Someone in Fire Phoenix. What does Fire Phoenix even do? Uh, During damage killed, if this card attacks, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this, this card's attack. And if your opponent takes no battle damage from that battle, if this card is destroyed by card effect, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. During the next standby phase, after this link summon monster destroys from the graveyard, you can switch this card from your graveyard. Alright, I feel like you're gonna link it away anyways. Um, I'm still at 8k by the way. I mean, it would be nice to know what I'm doing, but uh, alas. Well, the combo video. Combo video doesn't tell me about in-game situation. Well, um, you can't YouTube what to do when your opponent has revolt set, then I have. <laughs> I guess we enter battle phase. Sure, entering battle phase is fine. Uh, swing with fire phoenix. Yeah, I'll go revolt. Uh, understandable. Here we shop, relax. Uh, Nerval, Ferajit, and uh, Kit. Sure. The Omen. Okay, your guy doesn't do anything when it's pointed to something, right? No. Okay, so I'm just gonna summon me. Um, and then I'll go chain link. One Nerval, two Ferajit, three Omen. Sure. So Omen will banish the uh, fire guy. And then two Firajit. Firajit to draw. Oh, that's not good. Actually, it's not bad. And then Nerval to search. I'll just search back though. Okay, uh, continue battle phase. Sure. Uh, arrivals. Swing over Omen for two. Yeah, thinking here though. Mirror Force? Storming Mirror Force? Could you imagine? It wouldn't even matter, anyways, though. <laughs> this is your final attack, huh? Final attack? I'm scared. No, I, I mean, like, this is like your last attack in the battle phase. Uh, Sure. So I'll take 2k? Yep. Uh, effect, of, effect of Omen in the grave? Imagine if I played Lingery though. Aren't you supposed to, or no? I have no idea. My my extra deck has thirteen cards. Oh, bro! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. Uh oh, shit! I only have three banished. Oh yeah, that's fine. Three banished. My side has uh twelve cards. <laughs> this is literally half complete. 
They're a fear goof, bro. Do I have, do I have both my carrots in the graveyard? Oh, they are. Okay, so I'll just search kit. Um, yeah, I mean, these two. Um, and turn, go ahead. Okay. Just cut it in half. Yeah. I banished both my revivals. Oh, so you don't have extenders, huh? Mm. Okay. Uh, the synchro guy lets you pop a card or bounce a card and destroy something, right? Uh, so let's you shuffle that card back. Okay. I am going to start things off by... I just have to make sure I have targets. Sure. No, I'm going to start things off by DD Crowing that, that card that, that bounces. Or shuffles. Uh, sure. The Synchro or whatever, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to normal summon the Fractal. Uh, sure. I'll use Fractal effect here. For how many? For, I believe I'm going to do two. Yeah, I'm going to do two. I'll banish mm. Crow and I'll banish Nerval. I'll be able with that. Sure, that's fine. Um, I'll activate Airborne Assaults. Ah. So I can pry. Sure. Uh, I will summon Nerve Ball. Mm. Bro, how many Nerve do you play here? This is like your fifth copy. Three, bro. <laughs> it's actually my second copy only. Uh, and then I'll link these two. Oh, uh, sure. The Perigit. So yeah, I'll make Perigit, and then I'll go Nerval Effect. Do I even have targets? That's the question here. I guess I'll add another kit to my last target. I'll go with Perigit Effect. Uh, sure. Summon Kit. That's fine. Kit Effect. Sure. Uh, I will banish four. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'll banish the Rubel. Sure. Four. Summon Omen. Sure. Omen to just banish the Water Guy. Or right, I'll banish. No, no, I'll banish. I'll banish your field spell. Sure. Cards in hand? Uh, two. I'm in. Oh my god! Wow, chat! Bro! <laughs> I was literally about to make access here. A second one? No, you bounced my first access, remember? Oh, right! Oh! oh no. Yeah, because I was about to make access here. We're targeting Omen. Oh, you got Niv? Yeah, you got game then. Okay, so you Niv me. Uh, I get token. Here, I'll put it under the arrow for you. Um, Fairjit one, Omen two. Yeah. Uh, Omen, I'll search rescue cats. Sure. Even though it doesn't matter if I search rescue cat, but I'll search rescue cat. Oh no no no! I can search uh my last my last tribe brigade monster my nerve ball. and then I'll pair it with. How many cards in hand? I have three. Yeah, but you're gonna have game. Uh, I'll just put this back, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead. Drop. Stand up, face, man, face. Yep. Uh, pop token. Enter battle, please. Yeah. Pew, pew. Bro, where are all my hand traps? I had cross out. Just in case you had nib. 
I have nib, gamma. So in my, in my deck, I have nib, gamma, ash. I have, even have pink. Even though pink wouldn't have done anything against this guy, I guess. But Phantasme. I didn't see any of them. You saw Phantasme, huh? Yeah, the first Phantasme only. Uh, yeah, Phantasme doesn't need... The second time wouldn't matter anyways. Well, actually, the, the second Phantasme would have been good if... Uh, actually, I guess you never link something again. Never mind then. Yeah, that was bad. I, I completely forgot that I uh, bounced back to Axis Code. Yeah, because that's what I was going to say. I'm like, oh, he bounced back Axis Code. I'm blessed. Because I had game there. Because I go Omen, Omen, Farajit, Kit into... Omen, Farajit, Kit into Axis Code. Axis Code becomes like... 63. Um, and then I just pop your monster, tack over, and I have game. Because you're at 57, right? No, you're not at 57. You would have been at the. Uh, I forgot to do your life points. No, no, I summoned the uh, fire one last round. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you would have been at 57. That's fine. I would have had yeah. access code here, and then I would have attacked over. But I don't know what you would do at that point after that. Then I make my own access code. Oh, shit. You're probably right. Okay, bro. Well, good games. That was a fun match. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on the channel on Twitch, but you're going to be on the channel. It'll be on the channel oh, eventually. Sure. Uh, chat, do you guys have any last questions before uh, before Rayhan hops off? Real quick. Yo, did they give you a belt? Or is that just uh, RDS? They gave me a plaque. Let me see if I can grab it. Yeah, let me see your plaque. Okay, so one of the one of people... Oh, that's cool, actually. With your name on it? Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, yo, Bandon in chat said, how do you pre prepare for our locals? But also, I guess, how do you prepare for, like, YCS, he said, or any event? So I think uh, the biggest thing is, all right, it's know the meta, right? And, like, that's kind of easier said than done. So a lot of people, like, they take a deck that they see topping, like, a big event, and they take it to locals, and then, like, they just crash out. Yeah. Because you're not playing Dry Tron and Charbrigade, like, every round at locals, right? You're playing against Grand Maju and invoked and, and random decks. yeah random decks right so i think the biggest thing is is the emphasis on knowing your meta and then the emphasis on side decking um i think that's one thing that people sort of really underestimate is like the impact of the side deck because you can lose game ones right like like the main deck is whatever yeah but you're playing the majority of your games with side deck so if you're playing like with your side deck so if you're playing like dedicated side deck cards to counter like certain threats in the format like for example i'm playing Phantasme to draw into my side cards against like things like Dragon Link, but also to, to directly counter Appaloosa when I play against Charmigade. Yeah. Right? So, one of, my, one of my favorite interactions over like the past couple of um, formats or like a couple of months, I guess, because we've been in this format for quite a while, is the combination of Lightning Storm and Phantasme, just because like the Charmigade matchup either ends on a lot of like back front row, row yeah. or back row, right? It's either or. Lightning Storm deals with both, right? But at the same time, your Phantasme is 100% guaranteed to get off the board because it either trades one for one with the Appaloosa or it gets banished with the, with the Omen and then your Lightning Storm takes care of like whatever's left over. Yep. So things like that, like when you have like dedicated spots in your side deck, uh, know how to side deck and what to side deck for, right? So for example, um, like for example, if you're playing, I guess, Drytron, right? Yep. For example, playing Drytron, um, you eat trap cards a lot. Right, your deck does not care about like back row matchups because you eat those for breakfast, but your deck loses to floodgates, right? So you'd be siding in like you know you'd, you lose to window for example, you yeah. lose to Appaloosa because Appaloosa is also a floodgate. Um, so you you know you siding things like Dark Ruler no more or like Droplets to deal with the things that your deck loses to. So I think when uh, and so like when those decks are things are like popular, right? You need to like sort of understand like how your deck navigates those problems and what are the answers in your deck. That can beat those problems that are frequent in the meta. Um, like for example, people have stopped playing Cosmic Cyclone and Twin Twister because Pandemonium isn't a card anymore, or like not represented that well in the meta, and Schism isn't as present in the meta anymore either. So they don't care about sniping Pandemonium. They don't care about sniping Schism, right? Yeah. Who, who would want to play Cosmic Cyclone? Not big of threats anymore. Because but like if you rewind, um, just like a couple of months ago, everyone was either side decking cosmic or main in cosmic yep um because they know like what the threats are in the meta and they know what their deck loses to so understanding that and then side decking appropriately i think is like one of the best sort of takeaways you can do so for example um uh, back when i was i guess trash so like the one yc that i ever attended and like one of the things i really enjoy in, in Yu-Gi-Oh is deck building so like that's one of the reasons i think i found this format boring is because the decks are largely solved okay but 
because I like deck building, one of the things I really enjoyed was sort of prepping for YCS Niagara. And at that time, I think the format was Salad, um, Cyber Dragon Orcus, Striker, and Pure Thunder, right? Yep. So I knew that my matchup against Striker was kind of difficult, especially if like the pilot was comped. So what I was doing was like I was siding in three copies of Shadal Fusion and a copy of Shadal Dragon, because everyone was playing Tikabu and Salad loses to Tikabu. So yep. I play Shadal. I play Shadal Fusion going second because you send Foxy, you send Dragon, you make Grista. Grista's a rock. Dragon pops one back row. Foxy pops the floodgate and now you're like you're plusing really hard against striker while also popping like floodgates and just starting your engine as well yep so i think like granted i played like four thunders in a row but i think theory wise theory was decent yep for the striker matchup so i think like that's one of the best things you can do is like just understand the meta game and start using your side deck to really counter your bad matchups right so if you're bad if you know if you just cannot win against stratron and your locals has like drytron topping left right and center then perhaps main deck draw and side cycle leader things like that um and then your met your side deck and i guess main deck so it sh- uh, should really sort of i guess change based on how the metagame develops right because if your if your deck is kind of stale it, the age really shows when you start getting beat and sort of out teched by other decks if that makes sense yeah no i think that was a good answer one thing i just want to add to that and i'm sure like Rayhan does this as well, is when you do side deck, make sure you know what you're also siding out. Because what, you, what you're what you siding in is very important, but like when you're siding out stuff, you like when you look at your deck, you're like, oh my god, what do I side out? What do I, what's my engine? What's not my engine? You know what I mean? Like um, you can't just side out random things in and out, you know what I mean? Like you know, let's say for example, like Droll is really good into a matchup. It's okay, you want to side in the Drolls, but like, what are you taking out of your deck? So that's another thing that I think is pretty yeah, important. I think, I think, I think, I think that's, that's really big, right? Um, so what I do when I'm entering a, a big event is I, I'll sit down with my testing circle and we go over side decking patterns because I think, like, you hit the nail on the head. Like, you can put in cards for, in your side deck that solve the problem, but then if you try to, like, decide in-game or, like, you know, while siding, like, you know, what do I need to take out? I think it adds a lot of, like, unnecessary confusion and pressure. Yep. To your overall like game whereas like for example uh, for the rdiq um say i was playing against drytron i was siding in drolls so i knew that no i'm gonna take out three the chamber dragon made package so i'll take out like one chamber two tidying i'm putting in three drolls and like this is it um I'm going second against tri brigade i took out um the two tidying the chamber and the nibs i was main decking and put in three phantasma three lightning storm yeah right and like i knew that instantly like so my side decking pattern was like just there like it was clear and I didn't need to think wall siding, right? Yeah. So I could just like play, let's take a break and let's prepare for the next game. So I think that's really big. Um, just knowing what cards to side out for which matchup, I think it's 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 really understated. Saves you time and it saves you from a lot of mistakes, like you siding out one of like a random card. Exactly. I think a lot of times just people like siding like side out like random stuff. Like for example, like going second, um, you know, somebody some people against combo might side out like idle reborn, right? Like hey, you know, this is like. I play two of this, but I don't want to see it in my opening hand. I can search it, etc. Like that's your engine. You don't want to be touching your. You engine, don't want right? to touch your engine. Yeah, yeah. Because then you're putting in too many side deck cards, and then sure you'll stop your opponent maybe, but then. But then you're you not playing. Play. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's a big thing as well. Thank you, Rayhan, for hopping on. I appreciate it. No worries. Everything's good. Thank you so much, bro. Hopefully we see you again. And uh, right. yeah, I'll catch you around, bro. Right. Peace.